Pokemon games have dumb trainers. In fact, if it wasn't for bad trainer AI, Alpha Rad would have lost his first Nuzlocke. How? Okay, so Sabrina's down to her last Maw in Alakazam, which knows Calm Mind, Psychic, Recover, and Future Sight. It gets up to plus three with Calm Mind and one shots Arcanine. Alpha Rad sends in Lapras, which takes over half HP from Future Sight. All Sabrina needs to do is go for Psychic, since it takes out Alpha Rad's Lapras, and he can't switch, since the rest of his team can't tank a hit. Sabrina should have won here, but instead she throws and goes for Future Sight. Even Yan agrees that. This should have been the end. Ooh, he goes future sight. So AI is actually a little bit more stupid in this game than I thought. But why? So basically, the AI in Gen 3 works like this. Every trainer in the game either has good AI or bad AI. Gym leaders, rivals, and cool trainers typically have the good AI, whereas the bad AI is reserved for your youngsters, your bug catchers, and your grunts. Basically all the trainers that nobody cares about. So the bad AI just picks a move at random. There's some cases where it's programmed not to use certain moves, like Will-O-Wisp if the Pokemon's already burned. Um, but other than that, it's kind of a free-for-all. Also, the bad AI doesn't do any damage calculations before picking the move, which is why most non gym leaders feel really easy to beat. Most trainers just aren't programmed to make very smart decisions. So moving on to the good AI. The good AI is actually a lot more interesting. Here's the basic strategy. First, the good AI will run a damage calculation to see if any of its current moves can KO. And it does this by simulating its own damage roll completely separate from the actual damage roll. For example, if you're a Torchic and you have 13 HP and a trainer with a good AI has a Mudkip with Water Gun that does 12 to 15 damage, it'll run its own damage calculator. And if the simulated damage roll is 13, 14, or 15, it'll use Water Gun. But if it rolls a 12, then it won't use Water Gun at all. If multiple moves will KO, the good AI will just select one of them at random. This is also why Alpha Rad was able to win versus Sabrina. Sabrina's AI saw that Alakazam could kill with either Future Sight or Psychic, so it randomly picked between the two. Alpha Rad's entire Nuzlocke was saved by a coin flip. So there's a couple examples of speedrunners taking advantage of this internal damage calculation that the good AI uses. But one I thought that was particularly interesting was the battle with Wyonona. So typically, as we discussed in the past, you're usually soloing the game with Swampert, and at this point, you're up against the Tropius. So Tropius will do a damage calc and realize that it can't kill Swampert with Aerial Ace, but it can kill with Solar Beam. But even the good AI doesn't take in the fact that Solar Beam takes two turns to set up, which gives runners a free KO without taking any damage. But okay, what if the good AI doesn't have any moves that can instantly Oko? Well, at that point, the AI has a list of if-then statements that it checks for. For example, if it's the first turn of battle, favor stat increasing or stat lowering moves. An interesting quirk here is that the AI only counts the turn if you use an attack. So for example, if you use an item, the AI will still think it's turn one. So speedrunners also exploit this in the battle with Winona. Repelliper is programmed to go for protect on turn one, but if you just spam X items instead of attacking, the Pelipper won't register that turn one is passed, so it'll just keep using protect. There's a lot of other interesting quirks I found of the good AI, including things like not using a speed lowering move if the opponent's already faster than you, discouraging the use of confuse inducing moves like supersonic or confuse if you're already at low HP, and not encouraging or discouraging the use of fixed damage moves like Seismic Toss or Dragon Rage. So as I was doing research on this, I found out that there's some specific differences in Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green's AI that make the good AI a little bit harder in that game. Some examples include things like encouraging the use of Double Team and Minimize if they're above 70% health. They highly encourage Paralysis moves if the player is faster than them. And the AI highly encourages using Sleep moves just in general. And there's also the Trainer AI that happens outside of battle that determines how NPCs spin in different directions. This is something super important that speedrunners need to understand so that they can clear routes quickly with as little battles as possible. But that's a topic best saved for another day.